Hello and welcome to the screencast on task 5.1. So uh, remember in your LER booklets you'll need to complete task uh, 4.1 and then we have two units out of 5, 6 and 7 that we'll need to complete um, and we will definitely be focusing on uh, unit 5. So unit 5 basically looks at um, physical activity in the community. So we're thinking about after school clubs, we're thinking about um, leisure centres, we're thinking about stuff that happens within uh, our local area but as a community base. Um, and then for this section here, um, while you'll be sort of going to your primary schools um, and doing some of your hours, your community hours uh, through the primary schools, think about obviously um, the effects that they have um, on uh, the local community. So uh, number one here focuses first of all in asking you to describe two physiological, psychological and social benefits to the participants of taking part in sport and physical activity in the local community. So remember by psychological we're talking about the mental benefits, by social we're talking about people, so how does it impact on people and in what way and physiological to do with the body. So you need to just, come there, just basically describe very briefly um, in a couple of sentences for each, um, some of the psychological benefits, the social benefits and physiological benefits um, of basically taking part in community activities, community sports. Okay, so this is outside of school hours. Um, moving on to number two here, you can basically see um, it's asking you to describe two financial, two social and two medical benefits to society as a whole. Um, of people being physically active in the community. So obviously when people take part in things like um, half-term clubs, um, after-school clubs, and there might be a fee um, attached to it, think of the financial benefits and where that perhaps money goes to, um, who can benefit from that in terms of employability and so on. And then think of uh, the social benefits. So why is it good um, socially? for both the students and maybe parents for that matter, um, for people taking part obviously in community activities. So you need to come up with two um, benefits there. And then medical, so really thinking of the NHS in particular, the National Health Service, and, and what benefits and advantages they have if people um, in the community are more active and so on. Um, so that should be hopefully straightforward. Again, just a couple of um, sentences maximum to really sort of just describe what is going on there. Um, and then breaking it down further, really, so the, 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 the latter part of this task looks, first of all, at the psychological barriers um, that may need to be overcome uh, by uh, the young people when they take part in community sports. So thinking about when you're taking part in half-term clubs, after-school clubs, what might be some of the psychological, the mental barriers that some of those young people may face. And again, as sports leaders, how can we help overcome those barriers? So what can we do to ensure that they overcome those psychological uh, barriers? Moving on uh, to social. So again, sort of uh, what are the social um, problems that perhaps exist when we take place in community based activities, what might be some of the barriers and then again as sports leaders how do we overcome those barriers, so are we thinking about mixing up the teams, um, are we thinking about um, gender equality, all of those kind of values and responsibilities as, as young sports leaders we should be looking at anyway. So once you've um, finished that, you then come to the, the last part of um, this task, which looks at describing strategies which could increase the participation levels in community sports. OK, so you need to give two examples here for local initiatives and national projects. Um, so for the local community um, initiatives, think of things like the local park runs that exist. You might need to look that up, see where the local park run is in your area. Um, are there any half-term clubs that exist, um, perhaps from a primary school that you used to go to or um, of the secondary school that you're at now, for example? Um, you know, Finchley does an activity camp as well, so we could uh, theoretically include um, those initiatives in there. And then from a national point of view, so across the whole country, 
um, what projects exist to increase community support. So again, you need to have a look and research on Sport England, uh, that website in particular. So that would be the governing body looking at increasing participation for all. And then when you get to that website, try and look at the programs and initiatives, and you should hopefully be able to find a couple that you can describe briefly into those two sections. Um, so this, like I said, along with task 4.1, and uh, task 6.1 will be sort of the biggest uh, research um, stuff that you really need to do and you need to complete really. So this will take a little bit of time, um, but uh, if, you, if you have a computer in front of you, um, a source of uh, research in terms of the internet, um, then you should hopefully be able to complete this within sort of half an hour, 45 minutes. Okay, best of luck with that and uh, I'll see you again soon.